Hey, I'm Christopher John Farley, senior editor with the Wall Street Journal. I'm here with Ted Melfi, the director of the new film Hidden Figures. Of course, Hidden Figures deals with America and the space race. And one of the key characters in your film is John Glenn, who just sadly passed uh, while we were speaking. Uh, tell me a bit about what John Glenn meant to your film. Oh, geez. John, John Glenn was the benevolent leader of the space program uh, of the astronauts. He, he uh, he was quoted as saying, in a direct quote, and we use it in the movie, he was quoted as saying, on the eve of his Friendship 7 mission into space, he said, get the girl to run the numbers. If she says they're good, I'm good to go. And he was talking about Katherine Johnson, a black woman. Um, that's the spirit of Colonel John Glenn, who uh, we're going to miss tremendously. Now, what are your feelings right now, knowing you had this movie out that deals with the space race, deals with John Glenn, and he just passed at the age of 95? Well, take, me, take me inside your feelings right now. Uh, we were trying desperately to get John Glenn to see the movie um, because he's been such a supporter of it. His wife actually gave us some pictures of him to be in the film and some archival video footage to be in the film. And he's a big supporter of, of uh, this, obviously, the space program. And his wife was a supporter of the film and what we were doing. I just feel like uh, we've lost an American hero, and um, but aside from just an American hero, a man who always, always stood on the side of right, in terms of race, in terms of sexism, he always stood on the side of right. He's a great man, and a great leader. It just feels, um, I don't know, it's just sad not to be able to sh him see himself in the film. You know, of course, when you direct a movie like this, like Hidden Figures, there's a lot of research that goes into it, a lot of thinking that goes into it. Now that John Glenn has passed, what do you think America has lost? Uh, we've lost another, another pillar of respect and honor and pride and dignity. John Glenn did the right thing all the time in his life. John Glenn was the first man to circle this planet, first American to circle this planet. John Glenn was the oldest man to go into space at 77 years old. We're losing an icon. I mean, we're losing you know, a, a part of American dignity and American culture. And also, for people that didn't live through those years and don't know about those years, the space race years, which John Glenn was an integral, an integral part, and we see that portrayed in your movie, what did the space race really mean to the American psyche? What did it mean to, for the American character? What part did John Glenn play in bringing that part, that, that part of America alive? Uh, John Glenn represents the American dream at its greatest and, and most profound way. Um, <clears throat> at the time, in 1960s, uh, America was in the Cold War with, with the Soviet Union, and it was a great source of American pride that we get there, get to space, get there first, circle the globe first, put a man on the moon first. Um, John F. Kennedy, right after uh, Alan Shepard's first launch, John F. Kennedy said, we're getting to the moon within this decade. The space race was everything for America. It was a dream uh, that we could reach together. And so John Glenn represents that. John Glenn is that dream. 